and welcome back to part eight. Um, I'd like to think we had some good news, but after the problems on part seven with the motor and stuff, we found another issue. So I've come to uh, assemble the brakes, the rear brake, and I found that there seemed to be no stop on the brake. And I've been to look at my other Zeta Spirit, the same frame as this, and of course, that's the stop here. Can you see that piece of broken um, mount is? There should be a stop on there, welded on there. So, it looks like we'll have to recreate that. We've got a bit of welding to do. And I think the easiest way to probably do that is to take the back end back off, take the swinging arm off, take the back wheel out, and then we've, we've got a bit of access onto there, then we can clearly um, mount that on. So, um, there you go. I did notice that before and I ignored it like an idiot. I shouldn't have. I should have investigated it at the time, but I didn't. I'm super happy with that. That's okay. Just slopped a bit of paint on there. Um, Lower let that harden off and we'll sling on the back ends and we'll give it a try, see if we can get that working now. Um, I've also had to go at the uh, side stand. Um, I'm not 100% happy, so I'm not really gonna finish the welding off until I know the position's right. Um, it's welded on, but it's not the world's best welding job. Um, could just do with a bit more work. backwards right that is working pretty good I'm happy with that for now pretty the tires not on very straight but that seems all right I'm not convinced that the brake arm is not the brake lever is not bent we'll sort that out we'll move the exhaust and everything on but that is pretty good happy with that There's a little job we can just get on with. Yeah, I think I mentioned before, these are all broken. Not all broken, but you can see there's a piece missing here. And on the other one here, it's completely, this bit's completely missing. So we've just got some little bits of aluminium, one millimeter aluminium. And I can just uh, put that in there. And I think I'll just put pop rivets and, um, and some JB Weld. I think and, uh, that should be as good as new. So that didn't quite go to plan really. Um, it's far too fragile to put the pop rivet gun on. Not helped by the fact that um, the plastic is very, very soft and trying to rivet to. And the rivets are imperial. I've only got metric drills, so the whole thing's just going to be horrible really. So all I've done is I've left the rivets in. See that, and um, that's just dropping out down on the table. Don't want that. Um, and uh, I'll just put lots of aldehydes in there. So hopefully that'll be all right. I'll have to sort it out tomorrow. So just trying to do a dry fit on the tailpiece because it's quite a complex fit with all the rack and the mud guard and all the different bolts. Um, and it's not that logical. It's um, it's a bit awkward actually. Um, what I can find during the build is that the inner mud guard kept falling out, and it's only clipped in. But um, on the frame, there's actually lugs on the frame to, to screw it to, even though there's no holes in the mud guard. So I've just had enough, really. So all I've done is I've drilled the holes in the mud guard and I've put some bolts in. I'm sick of it falling off. So this is just a lot more strong now um, and a lot more secure. Um, there's only one bolt holding the rear mud guard on here when you're in this position. So the whole thing just falls apart and, and unclips. So anyway, that's done. So yeah, uh, that's quite a good little... Fix. I should have done that straight away actually when I fitted the mudguard. I did notice it. Um, that's well worth doing. Okay, so I was happy with that. Okay, it's time to look at the engine, so let's not do that. Let's uh, put that off. Let's have a mess with the exhaust. Um, if anyone is interested in the old exhaust, what I've done is I've cut off the silencer. Um, I'll show you what I'm going to do with it in a minute, but I've cut off the old silencer and, and this is just ridiculous. Now oh, you can see that it's absolutely just massive. It weighs an absolute ton. Look how solid that is. It's just absolutely ridiculous. Tiny little entry. So this is what a 75 decibel silencer looks like and that has just got to knock hell out of the performance. In fact, 
I would suggest that is actually a factor in why these engines can overheat if they're leading at high speed because that is not going to allow the engine to breathe properly. Um, that's just awful. Just I don't know what they're thinking really. I guess that's just the regulations. And I've cleaned up the silencer. Yeah, there's, there's another point. Look, there's actually silence in, in the downpipe. We'll need to lose that. Look at that. As if the silencer wasn't enough, now you've actually got a restriction in the silence in the downpipe as well. Um, so we'll just give this a little bit of clean up and stuff. Leave that in there for a bit. It's starting to work already. And in there a few hours, start to clean it up. So let's see what happens. Okay, so, so this is the plan. What I'd, I'd like to do is I've got this Ducati going, uh, Ducati silencer, um, big bevel silencer going spare. Uh, and it's, quite, it's a big long absorption type one, so it's really free flowing and it actually doesn't make that much noise because it's such a good long length. So I think I'd like to try and use this. I've actually, it was a pair, of course, I've lost the other one, so this is actually going spare. So it's in really good condition. It's a nice stainless silencer, so I think we'll try and use this. So we'll clean up the um, downpipe and we'll see what's needed. Well, of course, I'll need the motor really in to space it, but that's the plan. Um, I should look quite smart. And they've had a good look for spaces and stuff like that, but I can't find anything to fit. Now, splash of inspiration, of course, the guzzy downpipes do fit it. So what we're going to have to do is cut off some of the original ZSB downpipe, cut off a section of the Ducati of the guzzy downpipe, well that to there, and then it'll fit. Ha ha! So that's the plan. Right, that's part eight. Uh, we'll leave it there. Um, on the next one, we'll be uh, making some progress with the engine, hopefully, now that we've got a donor bike. So we'll see how that goes. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you on the next one.